Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal. Here's another video of my car boot sale finds. Those of you who follow my films know my main area is antiques and collectibles. However, um, today's video is going to be more general work in stock. Um, I bought some really nice pieces that I just couldn't leave there, even though they're not antique. Um, and I'm putting them back out at the market tomorrow. Hence, I'm making the video today because the stuff's going to be gone first thing in the morning. It ain't going to come back. Um, got a nice variety of pieces, as I said. There's not much by way of antique in this lot. It's more general car boot finds um, that I'm putting back out tomorrow for a huge profit. So, anyway, hope you find it uh, interesting. Even though it's not my run-of-the-mill antiques, it's still a very good car boot sale haul. And of course, I'll film the rest of the pieces I've had um, and upload that throughout the week. I'm going to start off with this magnificent uh, cast iron bull's head. Uh, it's a wall mounted piece, screws to the wall. Um, seriously heavy, guys, large, lovely casting. What's it for? I think it's just a decorative piece. no age to it, it really isn't. Um, but you know what, it's decorative enough. A farm might like it or a butcher or something like that. Now I paid eight quid for it. Um, I'm going to put it out tomorrow about 30 pounds and to be honest I expect to take a bit of about 25 to 28 pounds on it tomorrow and I don't think it'll come home. It's unusual enough that it'll sell. It's in lovely condition, as I said, it's all, the entire thing is iron, it's seriously heavy. I could put it online, but to be honest with you, I can't be bothered. You know, I don't know whether you'd use it as like a little towel holder, or whether it's um, just decorative up on the wall, but either way, it's a substantial uh, piece. So, that was the first one. Next then, I had a selection of 25 postcards, 50 pence guys, 25. Um, now I normally sell postcards, 50p to a pound each, depending on what they are. But I'll put this job lot out and I'll just chuck my 10 on the job lot. Just to give you an example of some of them. There's a lot of military um, cards in here. Age-wise, it's not going to be a lot of age, you know, 1980s, 1990s. Uh, we've got some famous buildings. You know, even if you just wanted postcards to use, you know, they're nice postcards. As I've said, I paid 50p for these guys. Somebody, you know, I'll put a tenner on them. First bid, I don't care if it's anything over a fiver, to be honest with you. Um, there's 25 postcards here. You got one there, Royal Caribbean, more military ones on the back. For 50p, it really was. For nothing, there you go, 50p, so 25 assorted postcards. <laughs> well, you can buy the car boot sale in it. Get that in just a minute. So they're going out tomorrow, and I don't anticipate they're coming back. Um, it's going to be alright tomorrow. Weather's forecast really good. Get the gates going to be massive, two fields, and I anticipate lots of trade coming out to buy. Next piece is really nice carved bone necklace. Now, you can't put it on eBay. Now, you may be able to put bone on, I'm not sure. You certainly can't put ivory on, but it may be able to put bone on, but I think you've got to distinguish the animal then. Um, and is it really worth it? I paid three pound for it, it's marked up at four. But I paid three pound for it. Um, obviously, so it's a tourist piece, somebody's been a Africa or somewhere like that and they've come back with this necklace. 
it was really decorative necklace. All bone, it's not ivory. Um, one way of telling ivory, when you look under an eyeglass, you'll see cross hatches or with a cut in. With bone, you'll see burst blood vessels and veins. Um, three pound for a bone necklace. Oh, it's got to be cheap. It's got to be a fifteen pound uh, necklace at the at the store tomorrow on the car boot. Um, and again, the way I work on the market, if it's a bid and it's a good profit, it's gone. So that won't come back tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. So they work in stock, but they're good working stock, guys. Walking cane. Now you know I've got the beautiful walking canes on my living room uh, wall. Now this one isn't good enough, unfortunately, to go on my wall, but it is still quite a nice stick. You know, copper uh, bottom and a hand carved top. But the top is hand carved to form the head of a dog. really unusual and it's quite well carved to be totally honest with you, it's not brilliant, not the best in the world but I paid a pound for that this morning guys um, and the walking stick enthusiast is going to give me a tenner for that tomorrow, no problem at all, that's not coming back again I can pretty much tell you the things that are going to sell straight away tomorrow and that's going to be one of them That's pretty much it for the collectible side. Uh, now we move on to the larger items that I just couldn't resist. I have two of these 20 litre jerry cans uh, with their um, nozzles, obviously. One in green. And I have one in red. Obviously, one for petrol, one for diesel. Um, now I've looked online and these are £40 for the red and you can get the green at the moment for half price from 48 down to 24 I paid £3 each. I'm going to put 12, 12 or £15 each on them tomorrow and they, they won't be coming home. They'll probably be sold within the first 10 minutes of storing out. So it's going to be good profit, but there, I mean, when he's 6 into 25 quid, give or take, not bad at all. One of my better buys of the day, um, outside of the antiques, now, as you can see, brand new in the box. This is a pair of brand new stainless steel Max, Max Tell 4x4 spotlights. I paid a tenner for them, brand new in the box. They're £100 on eBay. As you can see, they've never been fitted, all the wiring, everything, so all the connectors are there. They're brand new, stainless steel. Um, the black version is 69 and the stainless steel is £99 on eBay. But I don't want to sell this type of stuff on eBay. Um, They've come in on a boot soil, even though they're brand new, I don't know the history and if there's a problem with the bulb or a problem with the light and then they start saying, oh well I'm not happy with this and they start sending them back. So, they'll out tomorrow at the car boot and what am I going to get? 45 quid? Does that leave enough in there for somebody to justify buying them? They were a tenner, even if I ask 50, let someone else double their money, you know. Someone else will have a good day, they'll come home with these for 50 quid, say oh, they're worth 100. Job done, they've gone for 100, they'll double their money, take away their fees. I'm making 40 quid profit. That is just good stock, good business, guys. As I've said, it's not antique stock. Um, but these pieces I bought that are coming out tomorrow at the car boot sale. Here we have a What's it called? It's a lug all winch. This is off a 4x4. Um, and obviously, you just hook that underneath, leave it dangle, unwind all this steel wire, which will lift tons of weight, uh, wrap it around a tree if you get stuck, and it'll drag your 4x4 out. You can winch it out yourself. Do you know they're a couple of hundred pounds to buy? Um, I've had a look online this morning, and this type is a couple of hundred pounds. 
Again, I paid seven pounds for this one at the market. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but to be honest, you're looking at it. I think it's been used once, if that, in its time. It's obviously been bought with the truck, um, put in, and never used. All these pieces now mine come off the same buyer, or same seller. The spotlights, the jerry cans, the winch. Again, I'm going to put this out for forty-five pound tomorrow and see what offers I get. Same buyer again guys, two sets of brand new stainless steel and chrome spotlights again, 12 volt, I was hoping they might have been uh, named BMW or something because I had a look and set of BMW ones are £100, but no, a set of four brand new in the pockets, never been connected, chrome spot lumps, paid a tenner. Where are they going to go? 25, 30 pound a pay, no problem at all. Talking 50 quid plus per year, just in this bag again. And again, uh, there's enough people um, who do hunting, shooting, um, fishing, or go four by fours that just want these bolted across the top. They'll throw out four of these along your roof on a bar. Looks spectacular. And uh, I can tell you now, at £100 a pay or £80 a pay in the shop, they're going to fly out tomorrow. They're brand new, never been put on a car. I just couldn't even admit. I understand I'm an antique dealer uh, as a first priority, but when you buy your brand new pieces like this um, for that money, you just can't leave them there. You have to buy it and just move them on. It's just good business, good common sense. Um, these two I had, but I'm having for the house. Now any of you who buys from auctions or off car boot sales, you know where it's like, you're there for hours trying to take the labels off stuff. It is a nightmare. Didn't even know they'd done this. It is a sticker remover kit. So it's a special liquid to dissolve the glue on the stickers. Um, remove stickers, tape, price tags and gum from hard surfaces without damaging the surface. So. I'm going to give that a go because I'm forever there scraping and scraping and scrubbing especially on brass and that because you don't want to clean the patina off brass and whenever they stick the sticker on a brass candlestick and I always have a little clean patch and I hate that so I'm going to try these and see if it helps if it does, brilliant but for 50p I'm not going to leave them there I'm going to have a go and see what they um, what they do and as you can see they're brand new in the pockets Worst case scenario, if the first one strips the patina, then I'll just sell the second for a pound or two, and they're gone. Next piece then, it's going back out at the car boot sale tomorrow, um, was an art set. It's not complete, um, but you have watercolour pencils here. Really nice pencils. All boxed, all the watercolour pencils are complete, all the colours there are complete. You got sort of half the pencils on the top, comes in a nice box and it's named by cat. I paid a pound. I'm gonna check a fiver on it in the morning at the car boot. It's not a huge profit, so I'll probably put six to take a fiver and it's gonna go within minutes. I can tell you that now. Someone would buy it just for the box for that money, so five, six, eight pound maybe, and I'll see what offer I get. But I can tell you now, I had a look on Amazon and on eBay, you know, pencils and things like that, in a case like this, got this stupid money. Really are unbelievable money. Uh, to buy that for a pound, I was happy enough. So you can see already, I'm starting to form a good stall for the market tomorrow. Final piece I'm putting out tomorrow from today's guys is an antique child's sewing machine. It's a Vulcan, um, don't know if it's complete or not. Seems to all function all right, it's a motorized one. Um, it looks all right. Eh? The only thing that's lost is the spool of cotton to one there, thread through. No, it looks pretty complete. Online, these are up to 30 quid for a Vulcan, I paid a pound. 
So again, I'm going to be quite happy to just take 12 or 15 quid on it and have a very fast ball fit and have it away. Um, looks in good condition, would have liked the box. Don't ever throw the boxes away guys when you buy stuff. Um, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? It's a child's sewing machine, uh, motorised one, it's the classic. It's, it is what it is, it's saleable stock. So, there we go, that's going back out again tomorrow. So, I know there's nothing here, I'm jumping up and down again, really excited. I've got them over there, which I'll film in uh, a moment. There really is some nice, nice items here. Um, yeah, you know, there's going to be good profit. I'm going to take a couple of hundred pounds tomorrow, no problem whatsoever, off all the new stock. There's a few bits working stock I haven't bothered, um, you know, um, pulling out that's cheap stuff. It's just no point. I did have today the most beautiful 18 karat gold and platinum uh, crucifix set with diamonds and I'll put that into a video this week and I've had porcelains, toys, brassware, you name it there's a whole selection, I've had a really nice job lot of cranberry glass, Victorian cranberry glass um, everything from jugs, bowls, vases, real nice collection of early Victorian cranberry I've had some ladro porcelain so all in all it's been a really good day Yet again, I went to Cabartha Castle in Merthyr, and it's really paid off. Um, I'm just having a look now, is there anything else I want to put in? I think that's it for uh, today's video, guys. Um, I'll make a few more videos now out of the rest of the stock, and uh, obviously, you'll get to see all of that. This stuff was only filmed now, so that you don't miss seeing it. And I'll be finding them spotlights are amazing. Um, the spots, the winch, the jerry cans, all of it, it was good gear. Um, and it ain't going to be there for long in the morning. But what else they'll do? Good spotlights and jerry cans and winches and things like that. It's going to drive the men to the store and get the women looking at the porcelains and the bricks of brick bark and the jewellery. So it'll have a knock on effect. So I expect to be quite busy tomorrow. Um, and as long as they price it right, it'll go tomorrow and won't be coming home. Um, another thing I bought today, I bought a nice job lot of jewellery boxes off um, a stall up in Gethlier, Gethlier, Merthyr Tidville in um, Cabartha Castle rather. Um, and they were 10 pence each for jewellery boxes, I'll show you them tomorrow. So yeah, all in all, it's been really good buying day again, spent a fortune again. Not so much on these bits, but on some of the antiques and things. The cranberry grass was coming in on average about £5 a piece and that adds up when you've got a lot of that. So all in all it's been an expensive day but it's been a really good day. Really calm one. Anyway guys I'm going to leave it by there. Um, I understand it was work in stock as opposed to real nice fine antiques but I, as you've seen throughout the week it's been been a wonderful week and then I've got films to make out the stuff that's left and i got but tomorrow's buy-in so hopefully I'll get one or two real nice gems. Good luck with your hunting guys, thanks for watching, uh, don't forget, um, put, a, put the um, notifications on for my uh, videos, that's the little bell next to the subscribe button, I'd appreciate a like and a share guys, don't forget to subscribe for further videos, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena, we're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, and we have our own website, antiquesarena.com, thanks for watching guys, bye for now.